How'd the workout go for you today? Uh, it was good. Uh, we started with some transition stuff, get our blood going, get our wind going, and then uh, we did a lot of three on three, a lot of competition, uh, you know, more so than shooting. So it was good today. Larry Bird has said the Pacers might be in the market for a point guard. How do you think view this organization as a possible fit for you? Uh, I think it's a great fit. Uh, you know, it's a place that has a point guard position of need, uh, which is good to hear for me. Uh, getting a chance to maybe have an opportunity to prove myself and come in. And I think uh, they got a great core with Paul George, obviously, and some great young guards like Joe Young. Uh, they got a Ty Lawson's an unrestricted free agent, so you never know there could be a roster spot. And uh, you know, I think I feel the need. So we'll see. You played a lot all four years in college. In what ways do you feel you grew the most during your time in Chapel Hill? I think I improved a lot as a scorer. You know, I didn't shoot the ball very well my senior year, but my overall game expanded as a scorer, uh, getting a chance to play off the ball, learning how to shoot the ball as well as I had. Uh, and I'm really good in the pick and roll, which is something I didn't get a chance to show a whole lot, but it's something I worked on all the time, preparing myself for the next level. You mentioned the shooting struggles of last year. What do you tell teams when they ask you about that? Uh, just to watch me in the workout. Uh, you know, I've been shooting the ball fantastic in workouts. Uh, and I have two years prior to my, my senior year worth of shooting the ball uh, at a high clip. So, um, you know, my overall body work shows that I can shoot. I hit a rough stretch coming off a broken hand in uh, my senior year. Uh, but I finished the season through playoffs and uh, ACC tournament, NCAA tournament, uh, shooting a, almost 50% from three. So uh, I can't complain with that. You also shot it really well at the combine. Some guys have trouble adjusting to that extra length of that NBA line, but it also gives you a little more space than that college line. What do you think about it? Yeah, I love the, the way the NBA game set up. There's more spacing. Uh, like I said, it's more pick and roll heavy, which is which suits my game better. Uh, and I haven't had a problem really adjusting to the NBA line because a lot of my workouts in college, I, I would shoot NBA threes because when, then when you move in, it's a lot easier to make the, the college three. You mentioned your comfort in the pick and roll. What is it about that that suits your game so well? Uh, I think I just make good reads and good quick decisions. Uh, and when you set a pick and roll, you're automatically putting the defense in rotations and putting the offense at an advantage. So then you just have to make the right de decision, make the right choice in that, and be able to make the defense pay. And I think that's where I excel more so than, you know, an isolation situation. Lastly, I hate, kind of hate to ask you this, but we had Ryan Archidiakono in here a couple weeks ago. He said he obviously hears about that title game all the time. I'm sure you do too, but on the other end, is there anything you can take away from that experience at all? Uh, well, Obama said my name the other day. <laughs> uh, but other than that, uh, you, I, you can take a lot from it. You know, learning how to handle adversity. You know, how do you channel what just happened and, and that you can't change and use that to motivate yourself moving forward. Uh, I didn't get a championship that I wanted and I can't do anything about it. Uh, but at the same time, I can learn from that and know that, you know, I responded at, at a big time level at the biggest stage in college. And, you know, that can help me uh, later on in this process and in the NBA. But honestly, right now it's still in the, in the like, it's still in that time frame where it's just tough to, you know, talk about. But I hear it every day. I'm asked about it every day. I see the clip on social media and stuff. So uh, it's something that's still fresh in my mind, I guess. It's a lot best yeah, love, Marcus.